What's going on guys and welcome to the first episode of my brand new series here on YouTube called My Player. Now what is My Player you're probably wondering. My Player is going to be a player career mode and I really do hope you guys enjoy this and just before we go on I want to say if you're a new viewer to the channel, a new visitor to the channel I do recommend clicking the subscribe button as I do upload FIFA videos every single day, usually twice a day as well. So yeah if you're new to the channel click the subscribe button for daily FIFA videos. Now yes my player. Uh, obviously, I haven't been starting a player career mode this year, and a lot of you have been asking for it. A lot of you have been commenting asking me when I'll start one, as I have done one for every single FIFA so far I've been on YouTube for. So, coming into FIFA 15, you know, not really doing one for a few months, I thought now's the time with both my career modes doing quite well to start something new as well, add something else into the mix, just to keep you guys entertained and keep the content fresh. And to keep it even more fresh, I'm going to be starting off this my player. I've uh, made my guy a central attacking midfield. Now, obviously, I know that in the free player career modes I've ran previously, if you're a long-term sub, you know I've always been playing as a striker. But if you have been watching me play player career mode for a long time, you'd know that as a striker, it's not really my best position because I'm more of a team player. I'm more someone who likes to get the assists rather than the goals, and I tend to be quite selfless. So I don't really have that natural goal scoring instinct, and that's why for the first time I decided to play my player as an attacking midfielder instead. So don't get me wrong, he's still going to get involved in the play and still get some goals uh, but to be honest his main focus is going to be passing the ball around as so I feel like that is probably my best asset when it comes down to player career modes. Still I've chosen Burnley the team for us to go to and the reason we chose Burnley is quite simple. Coming into this team with the 5% attribute boost increase we got to start uh, for playing the game last year I feel as though we won't be getting loaned out in the first, uh, first season because usually in player career mode you start off at a pretty big team most people would choose one of their favourite clubs sometimes in the Premier League and then they'll get loaned out to a lower league club in the first season but at Burnley, a newly promoted side coming into the Premier League uh, one of the favourites for many people to go down and get relegated back to the Championship with us being a 71 rated 20 year old playmaker, I really do believe it's a good chance for us to be right in the first team this year uh, trying to burst on the scene in the Premier League straight away and as you can see I've decided not to request a loan, I'm going to try and keep us here and try and keep us in the first team as you can see our squad ranking with the rivals we are actually rated as the highest rated central midfield player so you know that should be enough for us to stay in the first team and as you can see we also take a quick look at the accomplishment categories as well for anyone that hasn't played the game uh, before nine different categories there and a lot of accomplishments to unlock throughout your career uh, also our agent comes to us and says we may be playing for England at some stage as well and also as you can see I've decided to choose generic boots for my pro to begin this series with now the reason behind that is quite simple even though we have unlocked a lot of boots from real life manufacturers I'm going to be running sponsored sponsorships in this series and we're going to have to meet some criteria in order to wear those boots. So these sponsorships are as follows. As you can see we're going to have to unlock all the objectives through these companies in order to be able to wear those boots and be sponsored by them. The first company is Penalty and we need to be 70 plus rated which we already are and play a minimum of 5 Premier League games. We should be able to do that in the first couple episodes. Uh, the following sponsor is Mizuno. They want to be 70 plus rated as well play a minimum of 15 Premier League games. Get 5 plus assists in all competitions and also have a 7% completion progress for the overall uh, objectives of your player. As for Warrior and Lotto, I'm not too sure what they want right now, but for Umbro, as you can see, they want us to be 75 plus rated, play a minimum of 40 games in all competitions, 5 plus assists, and also 5 goals as well or more. The next company is Puma, and they want us to be 75 plus rated, a minimum of 40 games played in all competitions, 10 plus assists, 5 plus goals, 10% overall completion for the uh, pro, and also a minimum value of £5 million. Pounds what we need to be valued at. As for Adidas, now it gets more complicated. 80 plus rated, minimum of 60 games, 20 plus assists, 15 plus goals, 20 plus overall progress, minimum value of 15 million pounds and also have played one international game for England. Then Under Armour, the company I'd love to be sponsored by in real life, 80 plus rated, minimum of 80 games in all competitions, 30 plus assists, 20 plus goals, 40% overall progress, minimum value of 20 million pounds, minimum of 10 England appearances, two career trophies need to be won and also we need to play in either the Europa League or the Champions League and the final sponsor the big one Nike we've got to be 85 plus rated play a minimum of 100 games in all competitions 50 plus assists 30 plus goals 60% completion minimum value of 25 million a minimum of 10 England games 5 plus career trophies and we also need to play in a Champions League final so those are the sponsors 
We're going to uh, try and impress as many of those companies as possible, rise up through the ranks, get a lot of sponsorships under our belts, and wear their boots as well. So that should be really good fun. Loads of lot, a lot of objectives there to hit, and hopefully we'll be able to do that. There are also going to be some different sponsors throughout the series as well, but we won't be discussing those in this episode. So there will be other sponsorships as well for other things, but we'll discuss those in a future episode. Uh, regardless, those are my signature sort of styles there for free kick run-ups, penalty run-ups, celebrations as well. That's a new thing to play career mode this year looks really cool a nice little addition by EA there and we also have all three of our pre-season games in this episode as well so coming here to Burnley to be playing at Turf Moor this season this is probably going to be our ground for the season as well because Sean Dyche doesn't seem to want us loan us out this year he wants us to be in the first team and the manager is going to take a gamble on us as the rookie this year coming into this Burnley team and be the first choice central attacking midfielder for us so in pre-season with our future not guaranteed that we will be staying here we wanted to put a good performance under our belts in all three games and show the manager that we are the right man to be playing in the attacking midfield slot but the first chance would fall to Borussia Mönchengladbach as they win themselves a penalty so the German side have a fantastic chance to take the lead early on in this pre-season game and they do as well because Kruse chips it down the middle and well let's just say the less said about the goalkeeping there the better. Kruse gives Borussia Mönchengladbach the lead pretty poor goalkeeping let's be honest and unfortunately for us Russell Martin making his debut for Burnley gave away that penalty and the German side do indeed take the lead so obviously the results for us aren't going to be too important as it's more about the individual stuff we do with a player at least in pre-season that is but regardless it's still not nice to be losing the game and to go down to a penalty and a terrible piece of goalkeeping like that is not good at all however in the 79th minute here as we play the ball forward Borussia Mönchengladbach and Gladbach give the ball away and eventually the boys roll back towards Russell Martin and well a pretty interesting non-competitive debut for this guy he gave away the penalty that gave Borussia Mönchengladbach the goal but then he got the equal goal for us as well so Russell Martin slides the ball into the bottom corner and makes it Burnley 1, Borussia Mönchengladbach 1 so Turf Moor sees the first goal of the series be scored here it is by Russell Martin and also as well a quick uh, note a side note here in episode number two changes are going to take effect where you'll be able to see the player's surnames above the cursors of, uh, of their heads I should say uh, on the pitch so yeah there you go you'll be able to see that take effect in episode number two uh, just so you can see for definite what the player who the player is on the pitch who's on in possession of the ball so it's Burnley only one Borussia Mönchengladbach one Russell Martin getting the goal for us and equalising and from kickoff here as Borussia Mönchengladbach get on the ball I make a challenge and win us the ball back but as Mönchengladbach win it back again again you can see the type of player I am in player career mode I'm a real sort of team player winning the ball back a lot and also getting assists as well because we get our first career assist non-competitively of course as we dribble down the left hand side cross it in with a drill cross and it's turned in the centre by Ashley Barnes so Burnley 2 Borussia Mönchengladbach 1 and that's the type of player I am if this is your first player career mode of mine you've watched I'm a sort of selfless always tracking back type of player defensive worker hard worker winning the ball back and looking to set up goals for my teammates as opposed to scoring them myself so Ashley Barnes turns it in and makes it 2-1 and the game is turned on its head in a matter of minutes and I was very pleased as well to get the assist in that game all in all, I felt I had a pretty good non-competitive debut. I won man of the match, which is great in your first game. Got a 9.6 rating, didn't shoot a single time. Was 85% of my pass accuracy, though. And, yeah, I thought I played pretty well in that game, to be honest. Deserving man of the match. And just a perfect start. Again, this is non-competitive football, so pre-season isn't going to be too interesting for, you know, what happens in the results. But it's still going to be important for the player. So, good to know he did win the first game. And most importantly, getting the assist for the winning goal was very nice as well. And we take on Getafe for the second of three pre-season friends with Burnley here in this episode and the first chance would fall to us here in the fifth minute as Getafe give the ball away and the Spanish side are all at sea defensively eventually has a simple pass into the box and Hewitt turns it in at the near post and makes it Getafe nil Burnley 1 so the perfect start to this game here in Spain just five minutes in or six minutes in I should say and the travelling Burnley fans can celebrate because we do take the lead in this game and it is Stephen Hewitt who gets it so again it, it's nice to know we get the goal there but not being involved was kind of disheartening because in pre-season friendly we, we want to be involved in pretty much every single good piece of attacking build up we do just to show Sean Dyche that we should be our first choice attacking midfielder and that's exactly what I was looking for in the 54th minute there I went down the right and so I have a really good run cut past the defender got taken down and the referee had no choice but to award a penalty so penalty to us 10 minutes after the restart I was the one that won it for the team and to be honest there's not much debate as there's a clatter in the knees there and I hit the deck so Getafe nil, uh, Burnley won and a great chance to make it 2-0 from the 
spot. Despite winning the penalty though, unfortunately I wouldn't be able to take it. Danny Ings, who just came off the bench, was going to take it with his first kick of the game against the goalkeeper. Can he score it? Yes, he can, because the goalkeeper goes the right way, but he can't save it. And it's Getafe nil at Burnley 2. So with the first kick of the game for Danny Ings, he turns the ball in and makes it 2-0 to Burnley. And we are going to win for the second time in pre-season. So unfortunately, I wouldn't be credited with the assist for this goal, but I was still very pleased to at least win the penalty and uh, be involved in the direct build-up for it. So Getafe nil, Burnley 2. Ings with a goal of his first kick. And in the, in the 70th minute here, Getafe tried to get themselves back in the game in this pre-season friendly with Castro playing it backwards. Eventually, it's crossed in towards Diawara. It goes up in the air and eventually a penalty is given. So one penalty for Burnley in this game, one penalty for Getafe as well. There was one for Borussia Mönchengladbach in the last game. So three penalties in two games. Penalties all over the shop, really. And unfortunately for us, Ben Mee is the guilty party and he was the one that took down the Getafe player. So frustrating penalty to give away there. He's trying to pass the ball out in all honesty, but instead he clips the Getafe player, and you can see why the referee gave it. So, a great chance for Getafe to get themselves back in the game. Diawara is going to stand up and take it for the home side. Great chance to make it 2-1 from the spot and get the Spanish side back in the game here with 16 minutes to go, and Diawara does score it as well. Mitchell's route to the spot. Diawara cannons the ball in off the underside of the crossbar, and it's Getafe 1 at Burnley 2. So, the home side get themselves back in the game, courtesy of of that Diawara penalty. With just 16 minutes to go, they'd have to act quickly if they were going to grab themselves an equaliser, and in the end, they didn't act quickly enough because the game did finish Getafe 1, Burnley 2. So, for the second pre season friendly, we win it by a single goal with the scoreline 2 1, and very, very pleased again to be involved in one of the goals. Again, I didn't get credited with the assist for the penalty, which is kind of frustrating, but despite that, I still felt like a 5.8 rating was pretty harsh. I felt I played quite well in that game, but I guess not good enough for the manager, and that was a shame. But still, we need to take on FC Cologne for the third and free, uh, final pre-season friendly game to today's episode here as the German side come and take us on at Turf Moor. As you can see the first chance felt in the 11th minute as I win us the ball back and shoot. The goalkeeper makes the save but it is turned in by Ashley Barnes. So Burnley 1, FC Cologne 0 and we take the lead just 12 minutes in and just like in the second game, despite being involved and directly involved in the goal, we won't get credited with the assist because you know, usually, especially in fantasy football, if a player gets felled and the resulting free kick or penalty is scored, that player will get the assist and it's the same for shots as well they're parried by the goalkeeper and it's turned in in the center it's usually credit with an assist for that player but in in player career mode unfortunately not even so we did win the game by a goal to nil so great to win three preseason friendlies out of three and again my rating was quite subpar which i felt was quite harsh but i guess it just goes to show you in player career mode you do need to be really on top of your game to get the best ratings but there you go so that is going to end the episode so thank you very much for watching guys i really hope you have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed the first episode of my player then please do leave a like and in the next Next episode, we're going to start the Premier League season off with Burnley at home to Chelsea at Turf Moor. So thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you for episode number two very soon.